Hey guys, this is Tyler taking another step on the journey to master programmer. I'm going to be getting into week two of the NAND to Tetris course. We're starting off by talking about binary numbers, binary addition, and representation. We are going to start with binary numbers. Just like a decimal number, let's say 233, this number has three digits. The ones digit, the tens digit, and the hundreds digit. Each digit has a value from zero to nine. A binary number is going to have a certain amount of digits too. Let's try one with three. Decimal means 10, which can be represented from zero to nine. Binary means two, which can be represented from zero to one, as you've already seen in these videos. That means each digit gets the value zero or one. In decimal, the rightmost digit is the ones place. The next digit to the left is the tens place, and the next digit to the left is the hundreds place. This continues forever. If the rightmost digit is the index zero and it ascends when going to the left, then we can say that the rightmost digit is 10 to the power of zero. There's three 10 to the power of zero, 10 to the power of zero is one, so there's three ones. In the second digit, there's three 10 to the power of one. 10 to the power of one is 10, there's three tens, that's 30. So far, 33. The next digit we have is two 10 to the power of two. 10 to the power of two is 100, two 100s is 200. Thus, we have 233. Binary acts the same way. The rightmost digit is index zero, then the next left digit is value one, and the next left digit is index two. The base, two, is the amount of values in binary. Just like the amount of values in decimal is 10, the amount of values in binary is two. So in the rightmost place of binary, we have zero, two to the power of zero. Two to the power of zero is one, we have zero ones, or zero. The next digit, we have one, two to the power of ones, two to the power of one is two, we have one two, so now our total is two. The next digit, we have one, two to the power of two. Two to the power of two is four, so we have one four, plus our two is six. This value represents six. But it doesn't necessarily have to represent six. This value actually means that it's six if we started from zero, 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 and continued counting all the way up until one, one, zero. We can see that starting counting at zero, we would get zero, zero, zero. Then when we increase to one, we would get zero, zero, one. When we increase to two, we get zero, one, zero, all the way up until we get one, one, zero, which is the sixth index. Just like in decimal, when you get to nine and increase by one more, you move over to 10 and the one goes into the next digit over, the same thing happens with binary. And in fact, I'm going to show that now with binary addition. If we have two binary numbers, both four digits long, the top one is 0, 1, 0, 0, and the bottom one is 0, 1, 1, 0, we can add them together. The rightmost digit is 0 plus 0, that just equals 0. The next digit is 0 plus 1, which equals 1. The next digit is 1 plus 1. Just like 5 plus 5 equals 10, leaving a 0 in the 1 spot and a 1 in the 10 spot, 1 plus 1 in binary is going to be equal to 0 in the spot it's at and 1 in the next spot over. We can add the 1 to a carry, just like you do in regular arithmetic. And now we have 0 plus 0, which is 0, plus 1, which is 1. So this number in binary plus this number in binary gives us this number in binary. If we were to represent this number in decimal, we would have the value 4. If we were to represent this number in decimal, we would have the value 6. If we were to represent this number in decimal, we would have the number 10. So binary addition is actually the same thing as decimal addition. It's just in a different form. With that said, I want to talk about binary representation. If we have n bits, which is just how many places of a binary digit we have, Say we have n equals 4, that would just be 4 places, and each one of these places could be 0 or 1. The total amount of different 0, 1 combinations that this 4-digit binary number can have is 2 to the power of n. Here it's 2 to the power of 4, which is 16. So if we start at 0, 0, 0, 0, which represents 0, starting of course at 0, we can go all the way up to 1, 1, 1, 1, which represents 15. 0 to 15 is 16 different numbers. And that is the max amount of unique numbers that 2 to the power of 4 can ever represent. 
but 2 to the power of n doesn't have to represent numbers. It just represents 2 to the power of n different things. So 2 to the power of n can represent that many different numbers, that many different letters, that many different people, just so long as that each unique binary number represents a unique value. This means that binary numbers are perfect for representing decimal numbers because you can have 2 to the power of, say, 100, and that represents 2 to the power of 100 different numbers. Most of the time in computing, we'll only need, say, 2 to the power of 16, which would be a 16-bit number. In fact, in our computer, our max value is going to be 2 to the power of 16. In normal modern computers, you're going to be using 2 to the power of 32, 2 to the power of 64, larger numbers because you'll need more numbers in complicated computers. Since our computer is going to be more simple, we'll only need 2 to the power of 16. 2 to the power of 16 can represent 65,536 different unique values. That number will give us all of the alphanumeric characters, plenty of different values to represent, and quite a few numbers to work with. In the next video, I'm going to show you half adders, full adders, and a 16-bit adder, which are going to be useful for adding together binary numbers. Thank you for watching, and happy journeys.